Esther just got her electric bill, and she's not happy about it. There are two reasons her bill is high. First, the cost of oil has risen, taking her electric bill along for the ride. And second, Esther is wasting lots of electricity, and she doesn't even realize it. Esther has no power over the price of energy, but she does have the power to use less. Energy waster number one. Esther plugs her car in as soon as she gets home from work and leaves it plugged in all night, wasting a lot of electricity. But Esther could become an energy saver by putting her car on a timer and setting it to come on two hours before she leaves for work. This one step could save her up to $50 a month on her electric bill. Energy waster number two. Esther is really bad about leaving the lights on when she goes to work, when she leaves a room, even when she's asleep. But Esther could become an energy saver by turning out lights when she's not in the room. She could save about 20 bucks a month. And what about that porch light? She leaves it on 24 seven, even during the daylight hours. Switching to a motion sensing light would save her up to $10 a month. But even if Esther can't change her habits, she can change her light bulbs. By switching to CFL or LEDs, Esther could keep her lights on all the time and still save 75% on the lighting portion of her electric bill. Modern bulbs cost a little more at first, but they save big money every time you turn on a light. Energy waster number three. Esther leaves the TV on for company. She turns it on as soon as she gets home and leaves it on, and leaves it on, and leaves it on, even if she's not watching it, sometimes all night. But flat screen TVs can cost $30 a month to operate, or more if you forget to turn them off. But Esther could become an energy saver by turning the TV off when she's not watching it. And since she just likes sound in the house, a radio uses a fraction of the energy a TV does. Energy waster number four. Esther's bedroom is chilly. It doesn't get as much heat as the rest of the house. So she uses a space heater and leaves it on all the time. Operating a space heater unattended is not only a fire hazard, it can cost up to $90 a month. But Esther could become an energy saver by heating her bed instead of her bedroom. A thick down comforter or an electric blanket will allow her to sleep in comfort no matter how cool the room becomes. Energy waster number five is dirty air filters. Esther goes months without changing her furnace filters and often forgets to clean the lint screen in her dryer. Dirty filters are huge energy wasters. Your furnace and your dryer will not work properly if they have to push air through clogged filters. But Esther could become an energy saver by changing her furnace filters every month and by cleaning her lint screen after each load. Energy waster number six is the computer Esther leaves on all the time. That pretty picture is called a screen saver, but it's actually an energy waster keeping the hard drive and monitor active, and that can waste a dollar a day. But Esther could become an energy saver by setting her computer and the monitor to go to sleep when she's not using it. And if she's really serious about saving energy, she should plug her computer into a smart strip. The smart strip will automatically turn off her peripherals when her computer goes to sleep. Our final energy waster is a big one. Esther had a frozen pipe last winter, and the plumber installed a heat tape, which has been running 24-7 for a year. That little heat tape costs Esther about $20 a month in wasted electricity. But Esther could become an energy saver by unplugging the heat tape until she needs it. Esther could literally save 20 bucks a month by unplugging the heat tape during the months when it's not needed. 
So let's add up the savings. If Esther would use a timer on her block heater, turn off lights and change bulbs, turn off the TV when she's not watching, use a warmer blanket instead of a space heater, change and clean her filters regularly, turn off her computer when she's not using it, and unplug that heat tape when it's not needed, she could cut her electric bill by almost half. Esther has the power to use less, and so do you. Go to gvea.com slash save for more energy saving tips. And while you're there, sign up for the HomeSense Energy Audit.